Well, it isn't news that too much tanning, indoor or outdoor, can lead to skin cancer. Most of us have known this for years, and indoor tanning has really come under a fire of late. So why is it that melanoma, which is one of the deadliest forms of skin cancer, has seen more cases and a higher death rate over the latest 10-year study? Tim Lammers tried to find some reasons why so many of us just can't seem to get out of the sun. I know that sunlight is a carcinogen. I know that as well as I know that cigarettes are a carcinogen. So there is no such thing as a healthy tan. It's kind of like an old western standoff in our brains. Competing truths about the sun. For all eternity we've needed it, even worshipped it. So how can something so elemental to life also be so dangerous? I think sunlight is the giver of life. But somewhere in the middle is the truth. The dangers of too much ultraviolet radiation are well known by many of us. The warnings are very clear. So why haven't melanoma rates plummeted yet? We get most of our sun damage when we're young and we think that we're going to live forever. So the majority of our sun damage is done prior to the age of 18. But I also think that people are addicted to sun exposure. And yes, responsible sunlight exposure has a number of health benefits. But behind any addiction could be some widely held beliefs that Dr. Jane Grant Kells of the Yukon Health Center says simply aren't true. So there's no such thing as a healthy tan because over a period of time, people who tan and don't burn, I can see under the microscope damage to the skin. A burn is probably the worst thing you can do. And melanoma has been associated with sunburns. Yeah. But suntans are also very unhealthy. Sunscreens don't give you permission to lay in the sun. Sunscreens give you permission to go swimming, to play tennis, to play golf. Nothing gives you permission to lay in the sun all day. You can get vitamin D from other sources like supplements and food. You don't need a lot of sun exposure to make vitamin D. Probably 10 or 15 minutes a couple of times a week. Also, while it is true that people with naturally darker skin have lower rates of melanoma, when they do get it, it tends to be fatal more often because they don't make it to a doctor in time and because they get it in unusual places like the palms of the hands. And the takeaway is nothing new. I'm sure you've heard it before. Make sure you use a broad spectrum sunscreen, one that covers both UVA and UVB rays. I'm Tim Lammers, Fox Connecticut.